Hi, you're with Chandi Pat Goodley once again. And in this video, we're going to talk about the DAX keep filters function. Now, in the past, uh, while maybe answering YouTube comments or blog comments, I've several times used the DAX keep filters functions in my DAX code. And people have turned around and said that, hey, why are you using keep filters function? And what does it actually do? How does it actually help? So this video goes out to everybody who has actually asked me about keep filters and I have inadequately replied to your comment. So let's just go explore the DAX keep filters function. All right, if I have to simply explain the keep filters function, I'd say that the keep filter function is going to add the external filter to the current context. Now, this obviously might not seem quite understandable. And let's just go explore what does it actually mean by adding external filters to the current context. So take a look at this little pivot table here. We have the color. The color has been got into the pivot table from the products table. And against the color, I have displayed my total sales value. And now the products table and the sales table are linked through a one to many relationship. Nothing complicated sales is the sum of the amount column in the sales table now let's just say that for some reason I only want to see sales for color black so I write a measure where I say that hey I'd like to calculate total sales but the total sales is going to be calculated only for one single color which is where the product color which is my filter is equals to black and I kind of drag this formula to my pivot table and what I will find is that against black I will get the black sales sure enough but everywhere else also I will get to see the black sales. Now, if you're aware about the calculate function, what the calculate function does is if it has a, like a clashing filter that you're writing in the calculate function and the filter which is coming from the pivot table, the clashing filter from the calculate function is going to override what is coming from the pivot table. So let me explain. So the pivot table says the color is going to be red, but your calculate function is saying the color is going to be black. So what the calculate is going to do is it's going to override that filter, which is coming from the pivot table and continue applying its own filter color equals to black. And hence against the red color, you see the black color, which is the behavior of the calculate function. If you don't understand it, I'm going to link up a video and you can take a look at that. But that's how the calculate function works. Now, let's just say that for some reason, maybe you don't like it and you just don't really want to have the black sales displayed against the color of red or silver or any of these colors. So you want all of these to be blank and only black to appear as actually the sales value. So what you're going to do is actually you're going to wrap this filter that you have written in the calculate function around in the keep filters function. And this is going to work absolutely fine. So take a look at this another measure that I have written, which is where I'm writing the same measure. So this is actually going to be total sales. And I'm seeing that the color is equals to black, but that is actually wrapped inside of the keep filters function. Now, if I add that to my pivot table, you will see that the sales value is only displayed against the black color and rest. Everything is blank. Now, this is what the keep filters function does. Now, in order to actually understand what exactly is going on under the hood, I have to take you to back to the data and maybe do some tweaking of the data to help you understand what's exactly going on and what exactly does it mean by adding external filters to the current filter context. All right, so I'm in the data tab of uh, the model here and you can take a look at the data. I'm actually going to create a column here to be able to help you understand what's going on. So let's just create a column and in that column, I'm going to write a VLOOKUP function to get the color of the product from the products table. So right click here and make a new column. I'm going to call this column as VLOOKUP on color and write the related function, which is nothing but the VLOOKUP and I'll get the color from the products table, close the bracket, press enter. And that's what I get the color here. Now let's just go take a look at our measure once again in the visual and then come back and work with this particular column. So if you go take a look at this keep filters function, we have written the keep filters around the filter that we have used in the calculate function and it shows the value of black, but it actually doesn't show any of the other value which are non black, right? So let's just go investigate the color red and why actually is it coming as a blank here? So you can see that against this blank value, the filter is red and your filter, which is product colored equals to black is there in the calculate function. So what the keep filter function is going to do is it's going to apply both the filter, the external filter on top of the current filter context, which is the color equals to black. So the first filter is going to be color equals to black. So color equals to black and say, okay and you land up with all the rows which are black in color. Now, obviously, since you have used the keep filters function, the keep filter function will also let the external filter, which is coming from the pivot table to pass inside the formula 
and let the filter be applied to red as well. That means on top of this column, this filter, which is color equals to red, is going to be applied. So if I just maybe come here, now I certainly cannot apply a red filter here, but let's just go forcefully apply the red filter. So text filters equals to black, certainly, but this should also be equals to red. And I'm just going to say, okay. And I actually land up with no rows of data because once you apply the black filter and then on top of that you apply a red filter you actually land up with no rows because the color can either be black or a red so you actually land up with no rows and because you land up with no rows of the data this value actually comes up as a blank because there are no sales against color equals to black and color equals to red so what the key filter function is going to do is along with the filter that you mentioned inside of the calculate or calculate table and stuff like that it will also allow this filter which is an external filter to come inside and be applied to the data and then evaluate that formula so that is the meaning of applying external filters to the current filter context and that's exactly what we wanted so we wanted all of this to be black now this behavior actually produces the result that we actually wanted so it produces everything as blank and that's exactly what we wanted all right now one way of using the the keep filter function is certainly to uh, use it along with a calculate function the other way of using the keep filter function is that you can use it as a table as well so take a look at this little example right here so what i have done is i have actually used the keep filter function inside of an all function let's just take a look at the formula here so i'm saying that sum x go in every single row of the product's color and I'm using an all function here. So what the all function is technically doing is it's removing the filter from black and it's kind of taking all the colors there are that we have it in the products table. And then against each one of them, it's calculating total sales and then summing it up. Technically, what it's doing is it's actually doing the grand total, which is where you see all the products and I get the sales of all the products and then I sum it up. And that's the number that you end up seeing right here. Now, if I actually surround this with the keep filters function, what the keep filter function is going to do is the all will actually uh, make a full table with all the colors there are in the products table. The keep filter function will then allow the black filter to pass by and filter that table to only black. So once I kind of press enter, what this is going to do is this is actually going to show me only the individual color sales. So that's another way of uh, using the keep filter function around as a table. But certainly this was not a very helpful example, but you get the idea. My objective of this video was to explain to you how exactly does the keep filter function work and how does it behave when you write it and what exactly goes under the hood. All right, that was all about the keep filters functions. If you have any questions around this, if you haven't understood anything, please, please, please put them down in the comments and I'll be glad to help. And also, if you'd like to check out my DAX course, which is where I take you from a beginner level, get you started with DAX, explain you bare fundamentals and take you up to a level where you start solving more sophisticated problems of your own data using DAX, I highly recommend that you check out the course. Uh, you will actually benefit from that a lot. Thanks so much for watching this and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers, bye.